Hey everyone, it's Patty, and we just finished reading a story called The Important Book. And The Important Book, let me see, do I have it here? I do. The Important Book by Margaret Wise Brown. And remember we talked about all of the important things about the different objects in the book. An apple, what was the important thing about an apple that was round, right? And the sky, the important thing about the sky was that it was always there. And we also came up with some other important things about the things in the book. But the most important thing was you, right? And the most important thing about you is that you are you. So let's look at some of the things that we all have in common. We all have usually eyes and a nose and a mouth. We all have a face. We all have hair. Uh, <laughs> well, some of us are bald, but we had hair. Um, and we all kind of look, have the same features and things like that. But there's one thing that's absolutely only yours, and that's your fingerprints that are on your hands, right? No one else has the same fingerprints. So we're going to take your hand, actually, something that's just yours, your hand, that doesn't look like anybody else's exactly because all of those fingerprints are different, right? And all of the lines on your hands are also different. And my hands might be bigger than yours or smaller than yours. So we're going to use our hands to represent who we are, okay? And what I decided to do was I started thinking about what is the most important thing about me? Hmm. Well, what are some of the things that I like? I like lots of things. I love food and I love movies and I love Halloween and Christmas. Um, but probably the most important thing about me, I think, is that I love color because as an artist, I love to use color in my in my paintings and my drawings and in everything that I do. So I think one of the most important things about me is that I love color. So that's what I'm going to work on, okay? And you're going to have to choose what your most important thing is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hand and we're going to make an outline of our hand and we're going to fill it with what we think is the most important thing about us. Okay, so I'm going to tilt this down now so you can see me tracing my hand, which is what you're going to do too. Okay, now I'm using a piece of cardboard because um, cardboard we usually recycle and I love to use cardboard in a lot of my artwork because it's something that I have and it's just going to go into the recycling bin. So why not make some art out of it? You can also use old cereal boxes, tissue boxes. If you open them up and cut them up so that your hand fits, that's perfect. It's also nice and sturdy, right? It doesn't bend easily, so it's, it's a nice surface to glue things to. Okay, so here is my hand, and what am I going to use to do my outline? Let's see, I have a marker here. You can use a marker, you can use a pen, you can use a crayon, right? You can use any of those things. I want my hand to fit, so if I do it this way, it's not really gonna f going to fit. Well, oh, it fits well this way, but I could also do it sideways. So um, since this is about me, I'm going to do it a little off center because that's what I think I am. <laughs> so I'm just going to go around. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just an outline of your hand. And as you can see, I picked a marker that's not too bright. So I'm going to have to probably go over it again. Okay. But at least I have a, an outline that I can work with. Let me see. Let's get this brown one. Let's see if this one works. I'm just going to go over. There we go. That looks better. I'm going to go over my line, and you can do it in pencil first, and then go over to have a grown-up go over it for you. That's fine. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's my hand. That's me. Okay. So now I said that I wanted to, to talk about the most important thing about me, I felt, was that I love color. So of course, I'm going to have to put lots of color in my hand. Um, I do have favorite color. I could do it just with my favorite color, but I'd rather do it with lots of colors because I love a lot of colors. So what I did was I went through some newspapers that I had at home and I cut out, see all these little tiny pieces are from the newspaper because I cut out little pieces 
of advertisements and things in the newspaper that were just color. Um, you can also use a magazine, you can use junk mail, you can use anything that you have at home that you can cut a little piece that represents a color out of. Um, then I also had some scrapbook paper and I had some construction paper and some regular white paper because I do like the color white too. Um, and that's what I'm going to use to, to glue into my hand, to cover my whole hand. And this is, we're going to make a collage. So a collage is when we glue pieces on to make a hole, right, to cover it up. So a hole, W-H-O-L-E. So what I'm doing is also I'm tearing up the paper into smaller pieces because if I put a piece that's too big on here, it's gonna cover my whole hands. And I don't wanna do that because I want to have all of these colors on here. And as you can see, this is what, I'm, this is what I keep doing. I'm just gonna add color and I'm gonna put colors all over my hand, all different ones. And by the time I'm finished, my hand will be covered in color. And that is going to be the most important thing about me, that I love color. For these little parts in here, you can cut, you can tear or cut your paper really small and just stick it right in the corner there. And if you don't have any cardboard at home, any recycling or anything like that, and you want to do it on paper, that's fine. And then what you can do is you can, if it's on paper or even on cardboard, if you want to, you can cut out your finished hand and then glue it onto another piece of paper so that if you do have any pieces that you're gluing inside that kind of stick outside of the hand, once you cut it, you won't see them. Okay. So that might be a little easier thing to do is to, um, is to know that you're going to actually cut the shape out. So you can just put your collage pieces all over the place and it won't matter because you're going to be cutting out that hand anyway it's all up to you whatever you'd like to do um now what would you put in your hand what do you think is the most important part of you or the most important thing about you um is it that you love animals is it that you love baseball or basketball is it that you love to go to the beach? What's the most important thing about you? And let's see how we can turn that into pictures and shapes and things that we can make a little collage to show everyone what the most important thing about you is, right? It makes you different from everyone else. Now, I can go on and put more colors on here and just cover the whole thing with colored paper or I can put some colored paper on there and then I can get my crayons, markers, colored pencils, or even as I've done in other videos, lipstick, like leftover lipstick that someone might not like in your house or, or tired of using um, and use that to also color, right? So I can put color on top of my pieces of paper, colored paper, or I can just color right on to the cardboard. Now cardboard, it's hard to see the color when you color it on, but you can still see it. It gives you a different, it's just a different surface to color on. And you really have to press hard. So it's a nice way to work those muscles in your hand and make sure that you're pressing really, really hard to get the color out. Um, if you have paint, you can use paint. If you have, um, like I said, markers or anything like that, you can also use that. So in the end, my hand is going to be all filled with color, whether it's because I cut out pictures of color or paper that's different colors or whether I'm adding color with another coloring tool, I'm going to end up with something that is the most important thing about me. And that is that I love color. So I'd love to see what the most important thing about you is. I hope you like this project and um, think about different ways of things you can use at home to make more colors or to, to show what the most important part of you is, okay? I hope you like it. Have a great day.